Hey, what's up everybody? It's time for another short, quick video on Slicer Prusa Edition. Uh, tips and tricks and how to use it. So, um, I have a very, very highly requested, that's a horrible sentence. I have an extremely, amazingly high quantified amount of requests for this video, which is how do I load the config, aka profiles, into Slicer and maybe even how do I export them? Most of the importing, because we always share them. Community is amazing. Um, I just downloaded a new one from Paul Park. He just made a new profile for TPU, I believe. I have it on my desktop. We're gonna find out what profile is. But he made it, and he's made previously really awesome ones that I've used before. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna download, I'm gonna try it. So, um, but first we need to get it in here. So right now you can see, I'm the latest version of Slicer. This has not changed between any of the other versions. By the time you might watch this video, it's probably a different version because they do roll these things out like crazy. But right now, as you can see, I just have the standard Mark III pretty profile that I do um, that I share with everybody in the world in the, in the forums, in the group. Uh, but I want to add this new profile from Paul Park. So let's take a look. So let's go to, and this is simple. So on a Mac, it's Command-L or on a PC, Windows PC, it's going to be Control-L. Uh, but on for ease of use and for video nonsensories, we're going to do it the old fashioned way. We're going to hit the file button. We're going to load config. I'm going to head to my desktop. So, my desktop, no, yep, it's a Paul Park TPU profile version 2. Uh, I just downloaded it today. Again, still my birthday. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to open this bad boy up and magic. And as you can see on the right hand side over here, the settings have changed from my standard pretty profiles to this PP, TPU, blah, blah, blah. But if I slice something, so again, I just have something on my desktop here. Let me drag in the Taj Mahal um, and put this thing on the proper face. Um, so I, I, I could, you know, slice this thing and do all this magical stuff. But it's not going to let me do anything because it's it's this weird INA. So let me let me do that. Let me just slice now. So it'll take a second because it's a big file. And if I hit export, it's going to yell at me probably. It's going to yell at me if I hit save. I could do my, yep, that's my folder to put it in. Mm, it's not yelling at me. That's a good sign, but it's not yelling at me. But it's not going to save. If I leave here, which we'll do here in a second, which is finished exporting, if I leave this, it's going to disappear. So let's go ahead and wait for this bad boy to finish here. You can do it, Mr. G Code Machine. So these more complex ones definitely take longer to slice. So there it is. It's going to take four hours and 53 minutes, but it worked just fine. Um, so we are going to exit, and we're going to reload Slicer. And Viola, as you can see, it is all kinds of weirdness. It is the wrong skin here and the wrong. It's on my CR10 profile. This is just weird. So let's go back to my, you see it's not even in here. So we'll go back to my standard. Uh, oh, I got to get off of the CR10. I got to go back to a Mark III profile. So we'll do, uh, boy. There you go. I got this new one that I'm working on. As you see, now the bed's back. It's the proper size. Pretty PLA. And pretty PLA. So there we go. Um, it's not there. We need to save it. So this is the part that everyone always forgets. You're going to load that config again. So there's my PPTPU. And we're going to open that. And it changed over here. So you got to go to each one. we got to save it. And it has to be unique. You can't just hit save and hit OK. Because it can't overwrite an external profile. So let's go ahead and hit the save button again. And we're going to name this thing uh, PP, TPU. Oh, of course it's, <laughs> I have some hot keyed uh, text. So we're going to call this um, Paul Park TPU V2 and save. And we'll go to filament settings and do the same thing here. So, Paul Park TPU V2 and printer settings. Boom. Paul Park TPU V2 and OK. So there we go. Now we have all of them saved. It's not going to yell at me when I leave. If I quit Slicer right now, it'll be back. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to make this take too much longer. But let's say I wanted to export this profile. Let's say Oh man, I did some editing to this, you know, like, let's take a look here. I always change something in this. Uh, let's see if he's got any cooling on. He does have cooling on, so I don't, I don't need to change anything. 
leave it as is, but I'm going to export this because someone asked me for it and they can't find it. I can't find the original file, even though it's in, it's in our group's page. So if you've never been to the Prusa community Facebook group, it's there. It's in the file section. It's like the second or third file uh, at the moment. It probably won't be there by the time you see this. Uh, so we're going to export config. Now there's a difference here. You'll see export config bundle and load config bundle. That's going to be everything. So if you do the bundle, that's all of your profiles that are saved and they'll export them into one big bundle. Don't do that. We're just exporting the one and just make sure they're all selected. You go to file, export config. We're going to name it something. We're going to name it Paul Park TPU V2. Hit save and viola, voila, for those who actually know how to speak the language. There it is. Uh, we have our uh, profile right there. So that's it. I mean, that's how profiles work in Slicer. Just make sure that when you load them, you go into each one of these, you save them with a unique name, and they will stay with you forever and ever. So yeah, that, that's it. That's how it works. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I know that's been requested at least four times, maybe more, maybe five. Um, and yeah, uh, that's how it works. Uh, if you follow that to the T, you will be the happiest kid on the block. So enjoy that and stay tuned for more Slicer tips and tricks from me.